Most days, my sanity is stuck somewhere in the canyon creases of my hands. When I go looking for it, I notice I've been unconsciously making anvils. The pressure between these palms has a way of molding manifestations of my anxieties into monuments. Some days, I open them and find patient bullets tinkling in a callous cage of unlikely trigger fingers. Most days, I'm more comfortable not opening them at all. There is a kind of security in keeping yourself from yourself. Observer in your own life, it's easy when you make like skyscraper or plane ride 40,000 feet above anything that tries to know you stuck in the in-betweens. Scared to stop at those monuments. So to stay distanced from destinations, I turn vehicle. Constant kinetics, methodical in my ability to be in every place but here all at once. Just keep a foot on the accelerator and speed past every sign that told me my way wasn't the right one. Mother called it wanderlust. Father started bringing home street signs, put a one-way in the bathroom, but cruising by at 65, I saw past joke to an invitation to make my own stop sign spill red sunrises I would never see down the drain. I've learned to lock the door behind me and swallow my keys so I'd always have an excuse not to go home. I know if I keep speeding through existence, the only inevitable is car crash. But avoidance is so easy when you tell yourself the numbness is just from sitting in the driver's seat too long. For me, security is in the landmarks I make out through the blurs of these car window corneas. My therapist tells me they're manifestations of all the people I wish could fill the passenger seat. There is an irony in writing sweet bird songs about the very shotgun shells I have sculpted from palms pressed too hard to steering wheels. I worry I will romanticize myself into oblivion. I worry that was always my intention. I'm learning that being an artist doesn't mean my broken is necessary to bring beauty into this world. I am worthy of pause. I am worthy of stillness. Breathing just slow enough to live in only this moment. <laughs>